What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Shift on YouTube with Francisco Rojas. Before I dive into today's topic, just a few things. Maybe you've seen it on Twitter already. I didn't want to make an official announcement uh, on YouTube, or I do want to make an official announcement, and that's going to be coming later in the week, probably within a week's time. Made an announcement regarding The Shift going forward. Got some big things coming, some exciting stuff. Um, again, made the the official announcement on Twitter, and you probably already know what I'm talking about if you do follow me on Twitter and you saw it. Uh, but if not, going to have that on YouTube soon, probably within a week's time. Okay, So big stuff coming. And also, if you've watched a lot of my stuff before, um, if you've been subscribed to the channel, great, awesome, very thankful for you. But also to the people who have it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hall of Fame stuff. If you if you wa- if you watched a lot of my you know content over the last couple of years, you know I'm a Hall of Fame guy. Um, did a reaction to the 2023 results. So you know I'm gonna make an entire playlist. I think of all the Hall of Fame videos that I made over like, the course of the last couple of months. You know, month and a half, two months. So go make sure you check that out. Uh, gonna have a link to that in the description. So today's topic. If you know my content. If you again, if you've watched my content, there's a reason why I called this channel the shift. There is a reason. Because I love this type of stuff when it comes to baseball. I want to return baseball. I want to help, not me personally. If I could do it all myself that day, it's impossible obviously. I want to I want to help return baseball to mainstream prominence. And a lot of people who watch this channel, I think feel the same way for the most part. And when it comes to the rule changes in baseball, we always seems like we always talk about it every so often. Rule changes that needs to happen, uh, whether it's you know uh, getting rid of the shift, uh, getting getting rid of uh, you know or being for the pitch timer and being against it, whatever uh, you know, lowering the mound, raising the mound, whatever whatever people think. I enjoy this type of stuff. Again, I enjoy this type of stuff. But recently, recently, there were, not even recently, you know, the changes that were announced for 2023 from Major League Baseball, um, I think really became official like last, like, you know, late last season. Um, The last article I read from LB.com was like September of 2022. Um, You know, really, you know, officially announcing the, the rules for this year, I believe. So, the, the rules for this year, it looks like it's three, but really four rules. You know, the defensive shift restrictions, the getting rid of the shift. There's still going to be, there's still certain kinks to, to the shift that, you know, defenses can do. Um, but for the most part, they're getting rid of the shift. There's going to be a pitch timer, you know, a pitch clock for the pitchers. Bigger bases, bigger bases, they're going from 15 to 18 inches, except for home plate. So first, second, and third will all go from 15 to 18 inches. And I don't, I don't know if this is really introduced as one of these rule changes, but it technically is a rule change. I think it's a big rule change for me, which is what I'm about to get into. The, uh, the, the, the number of pickoff limits for the pitchers, the, the pickoff limits for the pitchers. And to me, that's a big rule change. They didn't really mention it in this um, in this MLB.com article. And shout out to Anthony Castrovince. He does a great job on his stuff, on his content, articles. Uh, you know, anytime he's on MLB Network, he's great. Um, but this this one's big to me, man. And the question I really have to y'all is, out of all these rule changes, and I'll, and I'll kind of go through the other changes that I don't love as much at the end, and I'll talk about why I don't love them as much as uh, the one I'm about to tell you right here. What do you think about these rule changes? Which one's your favorite? Which one's your least favorite and why? Make sure you put it in the comments. Make sure you get at me on Twitter at Rojas underscore media underscore. Let me know there. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know everybody's thoughts. What's your favorite rule changes here? What do you think is going to be the most beneficial to baseball? What's your least favorite and what's, which one do you think will be the least beneficial to baseball? So for me, for me, and this this is really what I want to you know get at here is, I think that the the disengagements, the uh, the number of pickoff limits for the pitcher, and you know having a runner on base, I think that's the most be- uh, beneficial, probably within the near future. 
And I know the immediate answer for people is it looks like it's the shift. And I, and I put on a, a poll on Twitter this morning, um, and it seemed like most people said most people like the shift so far. But you know what? There's something about, I think there's a couple of things that come into play, right? I think it, number one, it creates more intensity between the pitcher and the base runner. The, the having the number of pickoff limits, it's just, there's just more intensity now. Now the pitcher, he has to think about, uh, you know, how many times he wants to use these, 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 uh, these pickoffs against which base runner it is, especially when it's against somebody like maybe like a Trey Turner or like a um, uh, Billy Billy Hamilton. I don't know if he, is he technically still in the league. I don't know. But th- those are like the two fastest guys I can think of off of that. Maybe Ronald Acuna Jr. Like there's just going to be more intensity between the pitcher and the base runner. And especially in like late game situations. What if it's like a one run game or if it's a tie game, eighth or ninth inning? That's just going to create more intensity between the pitcher. Um, and he's got to worry about the batter, obviously, too. But th- th- it's just going to make it that more, much more intense, you know, between, uh, you know, the, the pitcher and, you know, that guy on base. I, I think it's going to create more, more animosity, just more, just more, uh, again, the, the word I keep coming back to is intensity. I think that's what it comes down to. And, you know, more, str- like I kind of said before, more strategy with the pickoffs. Like, pitchers have to be, you know, very thoughtful and mindful about how many times they're going to use these pickoff attempts. Um, I just think it's great. I think it's great. And, you know, another thing, too, and this is a personal thing. Like, maybe this is why a lot of fans boo when it happens. I hate watching pitchers throw to first base like a million times just to keep a runner in check. Like, I get it. I get the strategy. I get the strategy, but, like... Just as a consumer, as a baseball fan, like, okay, like, how many times are you going to throw it over there? Even if it's a home team. Even if it's like, look, I'm obviously Eagles, I'm, I'm a Phillies fan. Like, even watching Phillies games and watching Nola throw it over to first base or Wheeler, whoever. Like, it's all right. Get on with it. Get on with it. Go, go. You know, like, I, I want to watch you, you know, th- throw the ball to home plate. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm a pitching geek, too. Like, maybe, but I don't know. You let me know what you think. Like, what do you think of the the just the the entire the 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 pickoff limits being changed? I want to know your thoughts. Um, another thing here is like it brings stolen bases back. Now, I do I think this is automatically gonna uh, you know it, it it's automatically it will help uh, you know the stolen base rate. Do I think it's gonna just return baseball to mainstream prominence? No, that's not what I'm getting at here. This is I don't think honestly, and we're being real. I don't think any of these rule changes at all will pr- uh, automatically push baseball back to mainstream prominence. Um, and that's like an entire another video. Um, I-, I can definitely get into that in more depth in, you know, at another time. And I think I probably will. Um, I'm surprised I haven't even really done a-, a video or any type of content like that, like that at any point. But I don't think any of these rule changes um, are going to bring back uh, baseball to mainstream prominence. But at the end of the day... I still think that well, we're just talking about which is beneficial to baseball going forward and which could create a little more excitement, um, you know, in the near future. And this is going to help bring stolen bases back. And I think that the stolen base is a very exciting, uh, you know, play to watch, especially back in the day, man. Like, I remember guys like, you know, and I know they weren't superstars or anybody like that, like Sean Figgins, uh, Michael Bourne. Jose Reyes, who was, you know, a star in New York. Jimmy Rollins, who was a superstar in Philadelphia. You know, got, people are debating him on the Hall of Fame ballot. Like, I miss those type of guys. I miss, and maybe this rule change, and this can go along with the bigger bases as well. Like, the bigger bases, and I was going to get into that in a second, but I'll just get into it now. Like, the bigger bases helps that too. You know, the bigger bases, they say, was only to you know, to, for safety issues, for the first baseman, and just in general. But I, I think that that automatically is going to help that, you know, so hand in hand, the bigger bases along with the pickoff limits is going to help. So I think it's going to help bring the stolen base back a lot more. And, you know, thankfully as a Phillies fan, Trey Turner, he's going to be stealing a lot more bases. So thankful, thankful that as well. So, uh, yeah. So I, I just think that 
the 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 at the end in the end of the day, like the pickoff limits, it's really going to help baseball going forward as far as like excitement. Just help. I didn't mean it's gonna return it and it's gonna be bigger than football now. I'm just talking about it. It's it's going to help, you know, create more excitement and more excitement brings more fans and stuff like that. Um so that's you know, that's how I feel about the pickoff limits. Again, got I have to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments, please. And kind of the the I don't, you know, I don't hate any of these rule changes, but as far as, you know, this topic goes, as far as, you know, which one's my favorite, of course I got to put knocks on the others. And I want to hear your knocks. What do you think, what do you dislike about the pickoff limits um, and things of that nature? I want to hear your opinion on that. But, you know, the defensive shift, I'm glad they got rid of it. I, I am glad. But do I think, like, look at, look at batting average on balls in play. In 2022 was 290. And just for context, batting average on balls in play in 2000 at the height of baseball, right? At least in my lifetime, height of baseball, 2000, the year 2000 was 300. So 10 points higher. So yeah, it was higher. But do I think a difference in 10 points on batting average and balls in play is going to make a gigantic difference when it comes to some of these changes in baseball? Not really. I, I'd hold more weight to the to the the pickoff limits. Um, pitch timer, uh, decreasing time isn't really going to do anything to me. Like, at the end of the day, like, football is just about as long as a baseball game. If you really look at it, look at the numbers. Like, football games are three hours. Baseball games are three hours. You know what it is that people enjoy more in football? It's the action that's going on during it. I don't think decreasing a baseball game by half an hour is automatically going to get like a, a bunch of more people to watch. Yeah, maybe one or two of more people, <laughs> you know? Like, I mean, I, I can't, like a handful of more people maybe, but like, I think people just, the people that complain about baseball are just people that just don't like baseball really that much in general. But again, it's about the action that's going on during it. So I think, I do think the shift in that, in that in terms of that, the shift does matter a little more. The, the, the pickoff limits and that, you know, turning into more stolen bases, that's more action. That's more action. That's the that that's more important. The pitch timer doesn't really do anything for me, and the pitchers are going to hate it, of course. Um, but you know, not everyone's going to love all these rule changes. Bigger bases, like I said, um, it helps pick off limits with base stealing, and you know, it's just going to create more excitement overall. So I, the bigger bases, I don't really have like a knock on the bigger bases. I think it goes hand in hand with the pick off limits. I don't really have too many knocks on the bigger bases thing. Like I don't. I mean, you let me know out there. Do you hate the bigger bases? I haven't really heard many people say they hate the bigger bases thing. So at the end of the day, I love the pickoff limits. Uh, that, that's what I like the most out of the four, I guess, four rule changes. But I want to know your thoughts. Please let me know from you. What do you think? Do you think that any of these rule changes, you know, could really help baseball get back to being one of the more popular sports, you know, in America, do you think that's possible? Do you not think it's possible? Do you hate all these rule changes? Do you love all of them? Do you think we're going to it's going to be like 1999 to 2001 all over again with these rule changes in baseball? I don't think so, but I would love to hear your argument. Um so that's going to do it for me. Let me know. Again, more content coming on the way, some big announcements. Stay tuned. Francisco Rojas See you guys next time.